Hey everyone, Dan Takahashi here. Gold, silver, platinum, these precious metals are on fire. I did a video last week on this, and I did a video two weeks ago. I apologize for all these videos, but it's moving a lot. And I need to update you again because what I think has changed again for short term. For those of you new viewers and subscribers, my name is Dan Takashi. I'm a former Wall Street guy. I've been investing almost all my money since I was 12, uh, mowing lawns in Boston. I uh, joined Wall Street as an intern when I was 19 and then started a fund with a partner when I was 26, sold my stake in that fund when I was 30, traveled about 60 different countries and then came back to Tokyo where I was born uh, about uh, seven, eight months ago, last year, the end of 2019. Just started YouTube, social media, got about 300,000 followers across different channels. Just started this English channel about three weeks ago. Please subscribe to this channel going forward. Today's theme, I want to break up into three different topics. Number one, as usual, I want to do a review. What's going on in gold? Why did I like gold short term and long term? There's a lot of confusion here. I'm reading the comments here. There's definitely some confusion between short term and long term and how to buy gold, uh, gold, silver, platinum. Second, I want to talk about looking at the charts again. I think there's a little bit of a change going on, just as a little bit here today, looking at the charts. So I want to give you an update on my view. Third, as usual, my opinion on what I think you should do with your portfolio. So let's get started, guys. First and foremost, why the heck have I been pitching gold for so long? I've been talking about it for so long. What's the point? Why am I so bullish on gold? Uh, there's a very, very uh, simple reason for this. Uh, the money supply of the United States dollar has been going up tremendously over the last two decades. Uh, you can look at this on trading economics. You can look at this on basically any sort of website. And gold, silver has been used as money for thousands of years, going back to the age of the Egyptians. I actually traveled to Egypt. I saw for myself with my own eyes, Egyptians have been burying themselves with tombs using gold as a form of money for at least four or 5,000 years. So it's the oldest form of money and very different from fiat currency. Fiat currency is what the money that the government prints. Right now, the largest fiat currency in the world is still the United States dollar. And the supply of the United States dollar historically correlates with the price of gold because gold is the anti-fiat currency. It is the opposite. It's real money. You cannot make more of gold. Techno techno Technology-wise, very difficult to make more of gold. I've looked into it. It cost about hundred thousand dollars just to make a tiny little smidget of gold so it's not even close able to replicate fiat currencies make more anytime just by pressing a button and as a result if you look at the ratio between the price of gold and the money supply this is using the st louis monetary base this is basically the monetary base supply of the united states federal reserve bank if you look at this ratio it's even published this is published exactly from the uh, St. Louis, uh, uh, St. Louis Fed, uh, Fred Bank. So it's actually the Federal Reserve Bank publishing this. See this ratio here. Gold is still historically very low. So as a result, I've been buying gold for long term and short term. Now, just to distinguish, guys, long term and short term, very very different here. Long term is what you put every month for your savings account, whatever you want to call it, it's a retirement fund. I'm thinking this is Warren Buffett style. You don't touch it until you need it very long term. The most key part about long term is the bottom part here. I put gold, silver, platinum, Bitcoin into here, commodities, 20 to 40%. Guys, don't forget these numbers here. If right now you hold gold, silver, platinum, Bitcoin, and as a part of your long term investment plan, it's over 30, 40% of your portfolio, you may want to think about selling some or putting some more cash into the red region or the green region. Separately, short term investing, which is 30 to 10% of your net worth, which is what I recommend, I recommended buying as well gold, silver, platinum for a short term investment. Short term means anyway between a few days and a few months because when gold broke through 1800 here, I like the chart. So, I recommended to buy gold, silver, and platinum 
they've all been screaming higher basically uh, ever since they've been breaking this blue line. Been a very nice short term investment thus far. Platinum hasn't screamed higher as much as the other two. So, guys, that was just an update. Now, second part of this video, let's go into the charts. Why do I think something has changed today a little bit? Again, guys, when you've been following me on charts here, I always say look for the initiation point. Where is the buying power coming from? These precious metals are going up, right? There's so many different ways to look at them. You can look at the spot price of gold, which is XAU, USD. You can look at gold futures, which is GS1 in terms of, the, in terms of this trading platform, trading view. Or you could look at even GLD, uh, gold ETF. You could also look at gold mining ETFs, GDX, GDXJs. So many of them. Where is this coming from? My opinion, I have to look at the volume, try to figure out where the initiation point is. I think the initiation point, point is silver. Why? Volume is just blowing up silver. Much bigger. Retrospectively looking here, the amount of silver volume here over the last few days in SLV, the ETF, and silver futures is much larger than the last few months here. So I think the buying in silver is in turn creating a catalyst to buy in gold and also creating some momentum to buy in platinum. But I really think the initiation point is silver. Also, I noticed the US dollar. US dollar, when it goes down, usually that means it's good for commodities, especially gold. It's called negative correlation. Like I've said before, the U.S. dollar is the anti-gold. United States dollar, money supply. They move in tandem, usually in opposite directions. So DXY is the main dollar index, breaking lower here. <clears throat> now, why do I think something has changed possibly today? Two things that stood out to me. Number one, DXY here. Depends on what charts you're looking at. Depends on what how you want to time this. But... It's broken lower to a level 93.7. Now, this may not seem like a really uh, important level, but if you zoom all the way back, uh, 93.7, it has not actually touched this level in a long, long time. Uh, 93.7, uh, where this is a level that it's even broke the lows of 2018. And now we're talking about a Quite a big level here, 93.7 and 93.9. This level here was a resistance level many times in 2017 and 2018. So I think that actually this is quite a big level. And I think that DXY, it's going to have some trouble going straight down to 92. I think that around here, it's going to be have a little bit of stabilization. So when DXY stabilizes going down, that means possibly the price going up of silver and gold they also stabilize. Not only that, but more importantly, looking at the chart of silver, like I said, silver has been the catalyst point. Uh, silver has been, I think, the initiation point. Looking at this chart here, it's really blown up higher. Uh, this is on a weekly chart basis, but we've been looking on this on a daily chart basis. It's blown up very fast. And looking at some indicators here, short term, me indicate that it may possibly be starting to stabilize or top out, especially the stochastics here. MACD, I've even tried to uh, narrow this MACD down to a very, very small input level, 6, 13, and 4. This is half the normal amount, which is 12, 26, and 8, uh, 12, 26, 9, sorry, to try and catch a smaller wave pattern. It's still going straight up. However, the stochastics here, and this is not even using a very, very small number. We're using 42.99. This is indicating that there's possibly a trend change right here. So silver may look a little bit like it's starting to pop out. Not only that, but silver, like I said, is the initiation point. We zoom out five years and look at the RSI, which is called the Relative Strength Index. It shows how overvalued or undervalued a security is. This is a yellow line. Silver right now, the RSI is approaching 80, right around 80 right now. And in the past five years, it's only gone above 80 once, September of 2019. So 
To me, this indicates that silver possibly is topping out, which could also mean that you might see some stabilization in gold and platinum as well. So listening to this, what is my recommendation? Guys, I'm going to keep repeating this over and over. Investing is self-responsibility. This is my idea. Please decide for yourself and listen to many other YouTubers, social medias, etc. Whoever. This is one person's idea. This is your own money at the end of the day. Now, my idea for long-term investment, again, guys, like I've said before, watch this bottom region. What percentage of your long-term investment right now, gold, silver, platinum, Bitcoin, whether you own ETF or whether you own something else, it's, it's, look at this percentage. If you're in the 50 to 60 to 70% range, you may want to sell some or put incremental cash into the red or the green region to make sure that you stick with these types of percentages. On a short-term basis, again, long-term is 70 to 90% of your net worth, short-term is 30 to 10%. On a short-term investing basis, I'm going to actually recommend, um, last week I recommended to sell half of the silver position. Uh, whether you own SLVs or, S, or the silver futures or CFDs or whatever you own, to recommend to sell half. I recommend it buying around here. It's been a tremendous return for the last short term, for the last few weeks. I recommend sell the other half. So sell all your silver position. I actually also think you sell short term your gold position. That's right, only short term. And the only short term position you hold on to is platinum. Why? Because silver is the initiation point, I think, for both silver and gold, right? And DXY is at a, approaching a big level. Silver RSI is very high, plus the stochastics is starting to turn. Platinum, on the other hand, really hasn't zoomed up higher that much. It's trading more with the base metals right now, so I think you can hold on to it. But this is all short term. Long term, guys, continue to hold on to it. Just trim your investments so that you are in this percentage range. So, guys. I hope this video was useful. Please do not get confused between short-term and long-term investing. Please watch my old videos. It says long-term and short-term investments so you can get an idea of what the heck I'm talking about. If you don't, hopefully this video is useful. English subscribers, like I've said before, I'd very much appreciate your help if you could send out my channel link to any of your buddies and friends to try to increase the subscribers. Since I just started the English version three weeks ago, I would awesomely Awesomely appreciate your support. Awesomely is not even a word, but I would awesomely appreciate your support. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, and hope you have a great day.